Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. Hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot type. All right, so let's get to the first one. All right, so in this video, we're going to look out, look for the C chips, which are your defense chips. I really like these a lot. There's only a couple of these that I really think are worth running. So we're going to look at these. Remember, I'll put these on a playlist where I have a playlist for each chip type separately. They recently changed all the names on these chips, which I know confused a lot of people. So we're going to go over all the, all the uh, durability chips, guys. So first, we've got the On Repair Unit Defense. If you're using a healing module on your robot, this thing's awesome. It's going to give you 80 defense points. 80 defense points is roughly, all right, roughly like 40-some percent damage resistance. And if you run two of those, it's going to be around 63, 64% damage resistance. All right, damage resistance is really weird. It scales, but... I love these, all right? Anytime you use a repair unit, these are the chips to put on your robot as far as the uh, defense point chips go, all right? The C slots, love these guys, love these guys. Now, those last ones did take power cells. You have to activate a module for them to work, so that does require power cells. Here's another good one, well locked on defense. Every time you get locked down, you're going to get those 80 defense points. All right, those one, this one does not require power cells. If you find yourself being locked down constantly, this might be a really good chip to throw on your drone. If you find yourself being suppressed a lot, you can throw one of these wild suppression defense chips on there, and every time you get suppressed, bam, your extra defense points kick in, and you take less, less damage for a few seconds. Now we got the on-half-freeze defense, so anytime... The uh, freeze accumulation reaches 50% on your robot. All right, this is going to go ahead and kick in and give you, you know, a lot of nice defense points every time you start to get frozen. So this is a pretty cool chip. I like some of the other ones better, but uh, this one's nice as well. You also have a half lockdown chip where every time the accumulation of lockdown hits 50%, you're going to get defense points as well. Personally, both of those lockdown chips work just as well as the other. This one might actually be a little more handy just in case they don't actually fully lock you down. They only partially lock you. This one will come on a little bit quicker. And this might be slightly better, honestly. Might be slightly better, lasts for 10 seconds. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool deal to get 80 defense points. Now we're going to look at the suppression chips. All right, we got we're wall suppression defense. So every time you get suppressed by one of the enemies, you're going to get defense points and you're going to take less damage. This is a really nice one if you find yourself constantly being suppressed. Personally, I'd still rather run one of the lockdown chips because right now I find lockdown is everywhere. But that should give you a good idea of how the, you know, the lockdown, the suppression and the uh, freeze, all right, defense chips work. So let's look at some of the other chips now. We've got our half durability defense. Now these are actually pretty good. Every time you reach 50% health, this will kick on and give you 60 defense points, which is pretty decent. All right, 60 defense points isn't too bad. It'll last for 10 seconds. And if you can heal your dirt, if you can heal your health back up halfway, all right and then you lose it back below health, it might come on once, twice, maybe three times per game if you're really lucky, but more than likely this is only going to come on once per game. That's the only reason this one's not as good as some of the other chips we looked at. You've got your low durability, which is, this is a nice deal, but of course this only comes on probably once per game. Once you hit 35% of your, your uh, health, this chip will come on, it will last for 20 seconds. All right, it'll give you 60 defense points for 20 seconds. And, of course, we're looking at the gold chips. The blue and the purple are also good, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, talk about the golds for now. 
very nice tip really don't run this one with a last stand because when your last stand is on it's going to waste well it's going to waste at least the first five seconds of this they both trigger at the same time all right so those two do interfere with each other a lot but low durability defense is okay if you don't have anything else to put on there all right so i think that pretty much covers all of the square chips the defense chips and what they all do and kind of which ones I like and don't like. So hopefully this has been helpful. Let's go do a little bit of gameplay after this and that'll wrap this video up. So, yep, let's go get into a game, guys. Remember, check out the playlist to see the rest of the effect chips videos. All right, so let's go do some gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial I did on those microchips. So here's some bonus gameplay. I don't know if we're going to win or if we're going to lose, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, play a little bit of a game and see what happens and unfortunately none of my team is coming for this beacons here so these enemies are probably gonna get these we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and get one of these beacons alright I'm a little bit slow so I'm gonna land over here um, it's gonna be easier for me to shoot this guy so I'm gonna try and get to this guy real quick let's go down here the blitz stole it he doesn't have a last stand so I should quickly take him out now the question is, can I change this beacon? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Another blitz, no last stand. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Jeez, that guy hit hard. All right, we're going to go ahead and go up in the air right now. And, I, I, ooh, I, can't, I forgot I can't take the beacons while I'm up in the air anymore. So we're going to go ahead and drop back down. We're going to try and get us that last kill shot on this guy. Double kill. All right, we're going to get our beacon back. Now we're going to go ahead and get out of here. So far, we're off to a pretty good start, except for my team only has two out of the three beacons. So let's go ahead and fly up on out of here. Let's try and suppress some enemies. That should help our teammates out. All right, this guy is coming over here to try and take this beacon. We're going to go ahead and drop down here in just a second. As soon as the shield ends, let's go ahead and womp on him, right? And here we go. Later, dude. Triple kill. Let's see if we can get this guy real quick as well. I don't know what that is, and I'm not really sure if I was hitting him or not. But uh, let's go after this guy again. Oh, man. Someone stole my kill. I guess it wasn't really mine after all. But so far, we're doing pretty good. I need to get back up in the air. We got to get another one of these beacons. Now, one thing, though, I like to play. I like to play games and show you exactly what it what really happens. Alright, I don't only show you the games where we win. I like to show you the wins, the losses, the whole shebang. I like to keep it real on my videos. So that guy's last stand is going to end. Oh, he's got a shield. Someone else got it. That's okay, though. That's okay. It died. My health is very low, so I'm not really expecting to live too much longer. Ooh, they got titans out already. Let's go ahead and suppress the crap out of that titan. Nice, my teammate over here is getting that back. Let's suppress these guys that are trying to beat up my teammate. I'm going to go ahead and land down here in just a second and try to help this guy. All right, this Fenrir is probably going to kill me, but we're going to try and beat him up the best we can with these rockets. He's taking a nice amount of damage, actually. I'm going to phase shift it. I'm going to go ahead and phase shift it. And just do as much... Oh, okay, we died. I'm going to come in over here on D. Let's bring in my little blitz. And we got to figure out a way to get some of these beacons back. I was not expecting that Nodens to be there. So hopefully we can crush him really quick. Shotgun Nodens is not fun to deal with. Um, there's another one over there. Alright, I think my team is going to need me on this beacon for a minute. We got to figure out how to keep this one. I got about 8 seconds. I'm going to use my healing module right now. Four, three, two, one, ba bam, sweet. All right, we got him suppressed and we hit him with all those things plus my abilities on. So we're gonna go ahead and hurry up and kill this guy, right? Die, to die, to die, to die. I didn't get the kill, but we did keep the beacon. It's Ravna after me. Come on, kill him, yes. We got it, we got it. So I feel like I'm playing really well on this game. Oh Lord. I don't think I'm going to get this beacon, am I? We'll, we'll try. Oh, crap. Crap sandwiches. So far, we've only got one beacon. We're losing them all. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this behemoth. Let's find somebody to shoot right there, right? Let's get this dude. Smash him up. Smash him up. Smash him up. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nodens is dead. What's shooting me? Oh, we got a Fenrir. As soon as this purple shield's gone, we're going to stomp on him a little bit. I should have put a repair module on this guy, but that's okay. All right, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. We got this. I'm going to phase shift it for a second. When his shield ends, we're going to try and womp on him. Right there. All right, Mr. Titan, take this. Yeah. All right, maybe we can make a comeback. We got to get some beacons, though. We got to get some beacons. I think Bohemoth is a really awesome beacon defender, guys. He's great at defending beacons, but we need to get two more really quick. We got to get two more really quick. So as soon as this guy lands, let's start hitting with those rockets. Got him. Let's go grab that beacon real quick. All right, I don't think I'm going to make it there on time, which is fine. Let's go ahead and fire off a couple shots into the crowd here. Let's see if we can get that Demeter. All right, purple shield popped up. That's never good for what I'm trying to do here. I think we're going to lose this match. All right, unfortunately, we're just not able to grab these beacons. But uh, we tried, right? We tried. So I think we're doing pretty well overall. The other team's definitely overpowering us. It does appear that my team is doing their best to grab these beacons, but it's just not uh, its just not working out, unfortunately. Well, now we got three of them, so there's always a chance that we could make some sort of crazy comeback. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in here with my Demeter. I think my team could probably use some healing right now. Um, we got four of the beacons, guys. We might actually, we might actually do this. All right, I use my shield here. Stomp on this dude. Yes, good job, good job. We healed him up as much as we could. We got four of the beacons. If we can keep this up, we might make a heck of a comeback. All right. We just gotta make sure we can protect all of these. There's one guy sneaking around the back here. That guy back there needs healed. Let me try and get my targeting on him. Two, one, let's jump to that guy. All right, let's heal him up, Mr. Arthur. Hit this guy as much as we can. I'm probably not hitting him. I think I'm just shooting my Titan in the back. There we go. It is a Fenrir, so that's going to be hard to deal with. I'm going to stay back behind the Arthur. All right, that guy's purple shield came up. And we got all the beacons except for one, so we are doing well. All right, we're going to take this guy out. Heal this Arthur up again. He needs it. Let's try and make sure we can get back over here and grab that beacon back. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the one that nobody's on. There's only one enemy left, so I think we've got this game. All right, guys. I think we got this game. So, yeah, we did it. We did it. Super comeback, right? We got two minutes left. Might as well grab this last beacon. Get a few extra honor points for it. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh man, the game ended. Anyways, that was awesome, guys. Awesome job to my team. We really made a heck of a comeback. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that game a lot. That was awesome. That was awesome. Not bad, guys not bad all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time see ya